All right, ladies and gentlemen. So there's something new with Bitcoin. You guys got to know. Uh, they're calling it Bitcoin having uh, halving doomsday scenario. But anytime major currencies, gold, silver, anything material in value um, gets talked about in a disaster form, it's almost better to start buying more because it means that everything, including the interest rates, are going to be super low. And then everything is going to go sky high. So everybody's saying that it's in a death spiral. It's in a halving disaster, halving disaster. And has caused some fear within the community. And many believe that this halving disaster, H-A-L-V-I-N-G, or halving, basically split in half, uh, disaster is imminent. Uh, I say buy more. Honestly. I mean, what's the absolute worst thing that's going to happen? I mean, don't go out and buy like the whole damn company. But if you believe it's going to stick around, which they're trying to work on a digital currency, so they're using this as a prototype or a uh, a shadow company kind of to, to do that. And uh, they're having some problems with it. But I think like anything else, it's, buy now, buy now, buy now, and buy now. And I don't actually have Bitcoin because Bitcoin has not come to me and offered me anything. And I've even asked to be given, you know, understanding how to get a hold of a Bitcoin wallet and to have, I don't know, 20 bucks put in it. You know, the equivalent of a $20 USD in that so that I can show it off to anyone who's actually interested in Bitcoin and do a piece on that. But so far, Bitcoin and those people thereof have not yet done that for me. And you would think that $20 is not really a big deal. But what this is saying is that miners are leaving and do not want to make economic sense. Threads author writes, the hoax is being based on fixed currency rate that Bitcoin is not. Bitcoin is a floating currency. Okay, so basically what they were saying is that the hoax is being based on the fact that Bitcoin is basically a fixed currency rate, and it is not that. It is a floating currency rate that follows the law of offer and demand, or as you well know it, supply and demand. Uh, the writer of the post explains that there has been no economics explanation to back up the having disaster claims. Excuse me. Thus far, due to the supported uh, hash rate drop, some are also predicting that mining may end up being uh, profitable. So that's the idea there. Uh, the concern is that the transaction time will make people lose confidence, and proponents. For a larger block size, believe now is the time to raise the limit, which is basically what I figure is everything's going to go through the roof pretty soon. That's the reason why they dropped the currency. So you get hundreds of wealthy investors to toss their money into it, and then it goes through the roof like the gold did. However, the current uh, schism within the community, or schism, uh, a hard fork may not happen uh, by the end of July. The theory is also what some call fear, uncertainty, and doubt, or FUD, uh, which is meaningless against the honey badger of money that doesn't care what you or anyone thinks. So this is kind of written by someone who mm, I'm not used to reading who's writing this kind of thing, kind of thinks a little bit differently than I do. But it's all there. Um, basically, it's in a downward spiral. And, you know, as of about February 29th. And, you know, not everything is going to go well. Um, my biggest thing would be if you have 100 bucks laying around, I'd toss it into Bitcoin. Especially if it's down real low. I haven't even looked at the figures to even know whether or not Bitcoin is worth me tossing 100 bucks into. 
And right now, as it is, I would probably buy both the stock and the Bitcoin itself. Because I got a funny feeling it's going to come back. And when it does, it's going to it's going to kick ass and take names unlike anything else. I don't see this company folding under any circumstances. But I could be wrong. I'm not a financial an analyst. Uh, I've been wrong on a few of these videos. But I'll go with the lesser evil here and tell you guys you should probably toss in 20 bucks or 100 bucks and at least get a Bitcoin wallet and just, you know, see if you can't get a couple hundred bucks going just like everything else. That way everything is diversified. At least when it grows, you'll have enough for like a couple months worth of gas or groceries or whatever you're using. I think Bitcoin even has a, a debit card, actually. I think. I'm not certain. I, I don't know if it's that big or not, but... I'm quite certain that there is a Bitcoin debit card out there. I've seen. I, I think I've actually seen it. I, I'm certain it is because it's, it's supported by all the major um, groups in the banks and stuff. So I would imagine it probably has a... You know, some form of a debit card probably even has its own credit line and everything else by now. I mean, PayPal does, so why wouldn't Bitcoin? All right, guys. Thank you. Let me know what you think.